What if I told you that Pokemon Go is, well, we already kind of know this, but no longer caring about the long-term dedicated players and instead are catering to new players, trying to lure them in to the game. What's up guys, it's yours truly Fit City. back to you with another video. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe because we're also going to be doing a giveaway. That video will be in the pop-up banner on your top right hand screen. Make sure you click on that and follow the guidelines on that video to enter. But without further ado, let's get into today's topic and that is Pokemon Go does not care or should I say it's not being catered no more to the dedicated long-term players. Niantic and the Pokemon Company are trying to find more people to come to the game and spend money by doing enticing things like this really, 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 really random Ed Sheeran event because that could be a group of people who have never played Pokemon Go, heard about this, love Ed Sheeran, and so, saw, oh, that's a cool Squirtle, I'll go in and play the game, and they pay money and they play the game for people at a weird niche that have never played the game before, this might draw them to it for whatever strange reason. Now another thing is too, is what if people who are relatively new, and when I mean relatively new, I'm talking about within the last two years. If you started playing the game within the last two years, you're a new player, you're not a sort of dedicated long-term player, because those are people, those are day oneers, those are 2016ers, those are early 2017ers. So you might have never been able to get the sunglasses Squirtle, well now is your chance, hence drawing people into the game, not commending or should I say catering to the long-term dedicated players because we already participate in this community day, it doesn't matter to us, who cares, more Squirtle XL candy I guess? Another thing, Shinx community day, this Pokemon has been in raids since like the end of 2018 or something like that, I knew it was kind of cold outside because my first Shinx raid ever was a 97.8% and I had one of the first highest IV Lux rays in the entire game in the entire world at the time. Because uh, I maxed out to level 40, I fed it with a bunch of rare candies, but I digress. This Pokemon people have spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on dedicated players to try to get a shiny, now they come out of community day because it's going to draw the new players. They're like, wow, that used to be in raids, I remember that, but I hardly played back then. I'm going to come back because now I can get a shiny and I can get candies so and get my first ever Luxray. It caters more to new players than it does the old and dedicated players. And that's kind of been the theme. Go Battle League is just a joke. Uh, I just started thinking about, wait a minute. What's the point of hitting Legend every single season and getting all the clothes and the poses when you can only choose one at a time? So no one at any given moment in time is going to know how many times you've hit Legend because they only see that one pose and they only see that one outfit. You can use a different pose and a different outfit that, cl that shows that, hey, you hit Legend twice, but no one knows if you've hit it more than that. And quite frankly, casual players don't even care. That's just the truth of the matter. So Ed Sheeran event, the game has been catered around new players. New players. Safari zones in different places. Uh, those are just fun in general, but new players, that's a good way to attract new players. I didn't go to mine because my RSVP didn't work, but uh, it is what it is. Of course, we've got the Safari zones. Shadow Lugia, and it's only this form and not the one from the video game. Kind of sad. But this is a pretty big one, and it could cater newer players. Because dedicated players know that this really isn't that great of a Pokemon. And it turned out not to be, especially in Go Battle League. And then finally, oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't talked about this yet. We're going we're gonna to end off with this. But there are plenty of more instances why Niantic has been catering towards more newer players and tried to draw money out of them, as opposed to the dedicated players, because they know they'll get money out of them anyway is the constant releases of old raid bosses immediately in succession. So we had the Swords of Justice out, uh, and they were out for like two weeks or something like that. We just recently had a day where they were available in raids. And it's just insane to me. We had them for a day, we had the Reggies for a day, 
We had Heatran for whatever freaking reason. And we had the birds for the 800,000th millionth time. Now, the Reggie's was okay by me because I don't have a shiny, and I tried to get one. But this is still catering to new players. Hoopa's hype, that is probably one of the main uh, reasons, maybe a dedica dedicated player, someone who signs in every day and plays a little bit, someone who just, you know, continuously goes into the game from since day one. The new Pokemon is cool, especially Hoopa, it's really good. Um, but nothing screams, hey, let's do something different, let's keep our players happy. Nope, we're going to focus more on new players. So let me know when, in the comment section down below what you guys think. For you new players, are you kind of seeing that trend? Are you seeing things happening that are good and new to you, but when you sit back and think about it, it's actually old recycled content? I want to hear what you new players are thinking. And the old dedicated players, people who have been playing forever, what do you think about this? Are you upset that this is recycled content time after time after time? We haven't had new content since PvP dropped. New content is not new shinies. Is barely new Pokemon because it's still the same thing over and over again. The gems are the same. The raids are the same. PvP has not been completely reworked from the ground up. It's still the same with the same lag, issues, bugs, and cheaters. It's still the same. Everything in the game is still the same. We haven't had new content or anything spiced up at all for a very long time. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, smash that like button. Make sure, again, uh, to enter that giveaway. I'll also link that video in the description down below so you can watch it and get entered into the giveaway. Uh, we're about a week away from announcing the winners. Good luck to all you guys. That's the boy Fitzy. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.